Welcome to the Superbook Show, fellow explorers. Today we'll be digging into a mystery that has puzzled archaeologists and theologians for the past 3,000 years. What really happened to the Ark of the Covenant? I always thought the Ark of the Covenant ended up in the depths of a government warehouse. Only in the movies. But today, we're gonna talk about the real history and mystery of the Ark. So I'm to assume that this is the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Oh, well, a replica, based on the description in the Bible of what Moses built. As you can see, it's about um, two and a half cubits long. No way, hold up, Indiana. What's a cubit? Oh, sorry. So, a cubit is about 18 inches. It's from your elbow all the way to your middle finger. So it's about three feet long, two feet wide, and two feet high. Right. Now, it was made of acacia wood, overlaid inside and out with gold. So what are these winged things on the top? They represent angels, called cherubim, and they guard the ark. Oh. Oh, don't touch that! Our faces will melt! No! I'm melting! <laughs> um, I think you're confusing the Nazis with the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Anyway, the real Ark was both powerful and holy. It was kept in the tabernacle and later the temple in the most holy place, the place of God's presence. No one but the high priest was allowed in there. Was there anything in the Ark? Yes, the two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments, a jar of manna, and Aaron's rod. Cool, so the Ark was in the tabernacle and then it was in King Solomon's temple and then... And then the mystery begins. The Ark disappears from history after 597 BC when the Babylonians invaded Jerusalem and destroyed the temple. Where do people think it ended up? Well, one theory says that Solomon had a son with the Queen of Sheba and he took the Ark to Ethiopia. Interesting, are there any other theories? During the Crusades, the Knights Templar searched for it and the tunnels they dug weren't found until the late 1870s. But no Ark. No arc. Hmm, I wonder if people are still looking for it today. As a matter of fact, there's a very interesting new theory, and it seems pretty credible too. A researcher named Harry Muskoff has been looking for the Ark for 20 years. He recently took our friend, Chris Mitchell, through the Western Wall Tunnels in Jerusalem, up to the ramparts, and into the chambers surrounding the temple, right to the spot where he believes the Ark is hidden. This particular section of the Western Wall is really fascinating, actually, because this stone is 570 mm -hmm. tons. Whoa, that's a big rock. Right? Muskoff believes that this massive rock is hiding something very important. Two years ago, there were tests done by the University of Nebraska, sonar tests, etc., cetera, uh, using electromagnetic uh, waves. And they actually found what's called a storage space across from here. So actually, the, there was a purpose for putting this giant stone this massive uh, slab here, one of the reasons, in my opinion, is to protect whatever it is on the other side. And according to my theory of the Ark actually was buried by King Josea, I think it was uh, 568 BC, in back of these uh, boulders, these massive stones. Muscoff believes that the original Holy of Holies in the temple had another chamber right below it. Actually, in the blueprint itself of the first temple, a chamber should be built exactly the same uh, Holy of Holies, exactly the same level of holiness as the one right above it. It was set up right from the beginning mm. to house the Ark with a golden floor and everything. That's how Solomon built it, constructed, yeah, so this, the Ark itself could go down. Right, it could go down. <laughs> So why hasn't anyone found it yet? There have been a lot of explorers over the years. One reason might be is because they're looking for a golden box and not a room. And for the past 150 years, no digging has been allowed in the site. Do you think it'll ever be found? Maybe, maybe not. Muskoff believes it will be found in our lifetime. But for now, the ark that Moses made so long ago in the wilderness will have to remain a fascinating mystery. His word is forever alive. Thank you for joining us today on our exploration. Please like this video and subscribe. And don't forget to visit thesuperbookshow.com and download the Superbook Bible app. Bye. Oh, welcome. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> Guys. Guys, <laughs> okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, don't touch it. Our faces will melt. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry you hit your hand on the thing. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on our exploration today. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
And don't forget to visit the superbookshow.com. And bye. I'm oh, sorry. Oh the energy took over. <laughs> you can't handle the half flip either. I can't. Okay.